Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. We're inside a Brookhaven hospital, and in the last episode, we figured out the riddle for the password for this door here and unlocked it. So I'm going to go in there in a second, but before that, there's four doors up here that I still haven't tried. So let's try them first. Women's locker room. Just an empty can, nothing important. Locker's closed tightly, can't seem to get it open. Nail polish remover! I know exactly what that's for. Yeah, so nail polish remover is pretty much acetone, and that should definitely get the glue off of the wall, which will allow me to get that key. Oh, there's more, perfume. What the heck am I gonna do with perfume? I'm glad I checked back here. This stuff smells a little strange. <laughs> Is it the smell of Silent Hill? Oh, wait a minute. I can equip it? Can I just spritz perfume all over the place? Wait, how did it get equipped? Oh, does that mean, like, spray it on yourself? Because it's not actually in my hand. Unequip it? How do you unequip perfume? I don't... what? I don't think you can just, like, wipe it off. I mean, it's kind of in there. I mean, I guess if you took a full shower and use soap and everything, but... Uh, okay. It's gotta be important for something. Yeah, weird. It's got, like, rolling shutters or something over the nurse's station. It's not a door. Okay. Um, I think it's down a floor. Yeah, so it's down on the first floor where that key and the glue is, so I'm gonna head there. I used the nail polish remover. Got a stairwell key. And I know exactly where that stairwell is, actually. Um, it is this one right here. I don't really have any reason to use that yet, though, right? Like, what should I do first? Use the stairwell key or go through the door that I just unlocked in the last episode? I mean, the stairwell is on the first floor. I might as well just go do that right now, right? Okay, we got new nurses down here. Breathing weirdly. I hate it. Is that a nurse? Actually, it sounds awfully squishy. Yeah, it's a nurse. They just sound squishy. Strong attacks are not the way to go. I wonder if this is going to take me up or down. I guess whichever way I want. Let's try the basement. Please be locked, please be locked.
No, not locked. Hey, this basement's actually better, though. The basement of the Alcamilla Hospital has a morgue in it. This one doesn't. Yeah. This isn't too bad. What's that beeping noise? Sounds like a beacon. What the f- Oh. Submachine gun bullets. <laughs> this might be worse than a morgue. That's a good shot. Uh. <laughs> That's so good. Where's the person who was using it? Uh, well, follow the bloodstains, I guess. Oh my god, there's the submachine gun. Someone used it. Casings all over the ground. Blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Just a little creepy? Don't think I can call the elevator from here. This basement's really fucking cursed. This room's really cursed. Just junk, don't think there's anything important here. The fuck is this about? There's a suspicious space between the shelf and the wall, but I can't squeeze into there. And there's no way I can move the shelf either. Hmm. Streaks of blood as if something got dragged are continuing on to the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Is there something I can do here? They said they can't squeeze through. They can't move the shelf. Then I guess they're isn't anything I can do. I have perfume. Something bad's gonna happen when I leave this place, isn't it? Maybe not like right right now, but I mean like when I get past the wheelchair. Is it gonna start squeaking again? came out of there though. I'm sure I'm gonna encounter it later. So where does that take me out to? Okay, yeah, just up to the second floor like normal. I guess this was locked as well. Well, I guess now that I'm here, I should probably check out this place behind the what used to be the locker room. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, 
Why do they breathe like that? Stop breathing like that. Oh, whoa, you have a gun? What the fuck? guns sometimes they didn't know how to use them very well though I don't even think they hit me again they don't have like fine control over their limbs they just like gyrate around and sort of zombie like No, it's a thing. The start time is my key. The start time is my key. Let me take a picture of that. Got it. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. Medical record here. Could this be for the dead guy? Background unknown, name age unknown, not admitted patient, found in, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severed carotid artery. Was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand. Assume this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. Have received no proof or cooperation of events from patient residing in same room. Have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. M4, just down the hallway. Paper scattered on the floor. None of them seem important. Well, start from M1. Another doll. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Alarm clock. That must be where the start time is. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest. I'm on my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. Uh, no, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. What the hell's wrong with that person? Oh. Okay, please turn off. Will you turn off the alarm? Yes. Should I record the time first? Um, I better count that down to the minute. 1123. 1123, 1123. Are my ears ringing now, or is that just the game? 
1123. Oops. Instant camera. Nothing else interesting. Pillow is stained and sticky with blood. Is this from the tattooed guy? I've got a bad feeling. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. What am I going to be doing with an instant camera and perfume? Okay. I mean, there could be something important in there. I'm gonna run. Okay, just a medkit. I took one hit for a medkit. That's worth it. I think I just ended up with a bit more health than I had before, so that's fine. Lock is broken. Alright, at this point I think I just need to try a higher floor. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, there's a door here I haven't tried. Looks like it goes to another stairwell. This one right here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let's go to the third floor. If we can. Oh god. Well, now they're here. That's fine. I'm still going anyway. Similar to the others, a bunch of rooms for patients, bath, shower, examination room, etc., etc. Okay, can I get into the main place? No, I need a key. Wait, what's this? There's an another password. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Special treatment room is open. Oh, is this the riddle for the password? There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in a special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Holy shit. Brutality towards patient. Are they talking about brutality towards a patient from one of the hospital staff? Or from another patient? I'm not super sure. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. I don't know what that means. Don't leave any marks. I guess that means they won't know that you abused someone if you don't leave any marks. Chief is a pervert. 
She would have been better off if she had been fired instead of... What, were they locked up in here? It was basically fucking solitary confinement. Jesus Christ. This place is fucked. God, this place is horrifying. Oh, yay. That was Christy. Is that a belt hanging from the ceiling like they were trying to hang themselves or something? It's hard to tell. Yeah, there's nothing in here. <laughs> what, Stanley? Flowing freely your ebony hair like the night's sky, scattering fragrance. Fragrance. Perfume? My heart clamoring in my chest, like a storm you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast... When you smile, my thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. It mentioned the perfume thing, but it didn't really give me any hint as to how I should use it. I don't know, maybe I'll equip it right now. Whoops. I don't know if equipping it really means wearing it, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Let's check out the storeroom and all the other doors over there. Save point. There's a good variety, but nothing I would need. Health drink, health drink. Is that a taser cartridge? Or yeah, a stun gun battery? Yeah, I still haven't used that thing. Okay, so that means I am going to find ammo for it in the environment. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. That's the place with the blood stain, right? Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. 
There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Okay, that doesn't actually help me get behind the shelf, though. I don't think an instant camera nor perfume is going to help me get behind the shelf. I mean, I don't know, maybe I could reach my hand behind there and take a picture of the key and then reconstruct it on a milling machine? <laughs> I don't know. Which way did I come from? There. Oh! This is the working one. Still a couple more doors to try, though. Okay. Yeah, let's try... Or wait, we're on the third floor, aren't we? Yeah, that's the topmost floor. Well, hold on. The stairs in the stairwell keep going up. To the roof or something? There isn't a map for... Oh. RF. Oh, I did see that on the map. Yeah. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. Okay, this is definitely the same hospital that you encounter at some point in Silent Hill 2 because I remember seeing a point in Silent Hill 2 where they were on this roof. I remember it was just this. It was just like the stairwell and then an elevator control room and I remember that Pyramid Head paid a visit. I don't think Pyramid Head's a thing in this game. Some machine gun bullets. I want to make super sure I'm not missing anything here. Wait a sec. I don't think I could use it, but there was a ladder. I think it was kind of like up a bit. Ugh. Like right here? Yeah, I can't use that. Okay. Out of my way. Out of my way. Fuck. Shit. Are they, are they completely trapping me? Wow, yeah. I'm gonna have to kill one of them. Shit, I, I can't move out of the way. Oh, this turned real bad. Maybe it's time to try the stun gun. <laughs> no, let's try that submachine gun. That put out a lot of damage real fast, wow. God, I just took so much damage. I think I got two things of SMG ammo out of it. And I just used one of them, so probably not worth it. Wait, I do use the Polaroid camera on the shelf? What, what am I doing with it?
1724. Oh. Right. For some reason I forgot that the key is not a literal key, it's a passcode. Okay, that makes some sense, I guess. 1724. Now is something creepy gonna happen when I leave this place? I'm just gonna run. Ah. <sighs> One. Seven. Two four. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore the rest of the third floor.